I'm a peaceful man. I don't hate much, aside from maybe the MacGyver reboot, the Magnum P.I. reboot, Star Wars reboot. But there's one lick that I can't stand. I've had enough of it. I've held my tongue too long. You guys have probably heard it. I used to work at Guitar Center. I've heard a variation of this lick a million times. I've seen it on YouTube a million times. I've actually probably done it myself more than I'd like to admit. The hypocrisy is very thick right now. But we're gonna teach it, then we're gonna put it to bed. That seems counterintuitive, but it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> So we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about why I hate this so much. <laughs> because it's three completely disconnected ideas, but I think there probably is some kind of educational value in just like looking at the ideas. So you know what not to do, and then maybe what you can do, all right? So I guess this is gonna be in the key of F, which is really, you know, the key of 2020, more so than D. Cho choose it, F or D, whatever. Basically, it's pentatonic form one. We're coming from here. I have a delay pedal on, no big deal. I felt fancy tonight. Uh, Walrus Audio, Arp 87, rocking the Ernie Ball, St. Vincent. So yeah, we've got this kind of D minor pentatonic shape. We're gonna do some stuff in here, just some stuff to show off. And then we're gonna end here, which is an F note, right? D minor and F major go really well together. And this is how we prove to people that we know this, all right? So, first things first, we got that minor pentatonic thing. What we need to do is this. Okay, so, this is, I don't have an issue with this. This is just blues lick, right? You take your ring finger, the 12th fret on the G string, bend it while you have it bent up, hit the 10th fret, B and E, then the G string, the blue note, right? We know the blues. You've just announced to everyone at Guitar Center that you watched one Stitch Method video on how to play the blues. Right, that's cool. I'm, I don't begrudge you for it, that's great, right? So we've got this bend on the G string. B to E, <laughs> G string, end on the D, 12th fret on the D string, right? Then here's where we go. <laughs> that's, the, that, that's the part that gets me every time. I see people do this all the time, okay? So what's happening here is we got this, the, the first part of the lick. Then we're gonna go through, right? Very, still bluesy, right? We've, we've just established a blues lick. D string, 12, 10, A string. Now we're gonna go down a step to our parent key. This is that F, right? We're gonna go below it. Then we're gonna come back to it with your middle finger. And this is the part that gets me. <laughs> this chord, which is a major seven chord, all right? Which, hey, I love major seven chords. You, you guys might know me. Everything I play is major seven. But I feel like these are two totally disconnected ideas that sound terrible together, right? I've got this blues pentatonic. And a lot of times they'll milk that. And then they're done. <laughs> it's the dumb, it's the dumbest thing. So middle finger is on the F on the A string. This is major third. There's that major seven to, to show what's up. Oh, it's like I know a jazz chord, even though out of context, whatever, don't get me started on that. And then your pinky is gonna grab the octave of the major third, the 10th fret of the B string. It's always played with distortion, so it sounds terrible. And then God forbid they have a whammy bar. expressions are part of it, right? The, <laughs> that's the. <laughs> I swear to God, I've heard people do this all the time. Now, there are variations, right? Maybe they don't have that. Maybe it's not always that blue note right there. Sometimes it's like, uh, like a backwards like. Kind of like a, I'm gonna play triplets really fast. It's gonna sound.
sound bad, and but it, it always ends here. It doesn't have to be this chord. Sometimes I see people do uh, like maybe this chord, like eight, nine, nine, ten. Sometimes it's maybe this. But it always it begs a question, and there's always a little bit of distort. I can't do it anymore, guys. But now you can do it. Now, the, the important thing is to maybe understand that, like, if you're in a minor pentatonic... Like, this note right here is going to be the root note of maybe the major scale that you're using. But it's, it's always that, it's always the bend through the top strings, back to the blue note. <laughs> With some wild vibrato. And then there's always the head turn at the end. A lot of, lot of unnecessary stuff going on there. So that's gonna be uh, my least favorite lick of all time that I use a lot, actually. <laughs> you know what else is gaining ground? Uh, is soloing that starts with going through sixes or, or you know, roots and thirds through like a, like a chord scale. Like say we're in G, right? There's that G. <laughs> and then you get to the top, it's like, wait, what? <laughs> I see a lot of people do that, like, it'll be maybe, I guess maybe like a solo or something, and they're just like, alright, uh, I can do a chord scale here. So it's a combo, a special combo deal for you. So, again, I just had to get that off my chest, I'm really sorry. I'm not even going to promote anything of my own, but it's in the link if, if you want to see more. And if you have any questions, uh, a fun way to increase engagement would be for you to tab out your least favorite licks in the comments <laughs> and have the viewers decide which one is your least favorite. Thanks for watching.